we are alone. You are now irrevocably betrothed to me. Are you very, very happy? Oh, Alexis, can you tell me? Do I not love you beyond all on earth? And am I not to love in return? <laughs> it's not true love, faithfully given and faithfully returned, the source of every earthly joy. Of that, there can be no doubt. Oh, that the world could be convinced of the truth of that maxim. Oh, that the world would break down the artificial barriers of age, education, wealth, rank, habits, taste, and temper, and recognize the glorious principle that in marriage alone is to be found the panacea of every ill. Continue to preach that sweet doctrine, and you will succeed. Oh, you evangel of true happiness. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. But as yet, the thought progresses but slowly. Still, I have made some converts to the principle that men and women should be coupled in matrimony without distinction of rank. I have lectured on the subject at mechanics institutes, and the mechanics were unanimous in favor of my views. I have preached in the beer houses and the lunatic asylums. And I was received with uh, enthusiasm. I have appeared to knowledge of the advantages that would accrue to them if they were to marry wealthy ladies of rank. And not an army descended. Uh, no, fellows. And if there are those that hold that the uneducated classes are not open to argument, and what do the countesses say? Why, at present, it can't be denied that the aristocracy hold the loop. Ah. The working man is the true intelligence after all. He is a noble fellow when he is quite sober. <laughs> yes, I mean, true happiness comes of true love. And true love should be independent of external influences. It should live by itself, upon itself. In itself, love should live for love alone.
J.W. Wells and Company, the old established family sorcerers in St. Mary X. I have seen their advertisements. Well, they haven't been filtered. That, in report, is to be believed, is simply valid. I intend to distribute this filter among the inhabitants of the ship, so that in twelve hours of my doing so, there will not be a single at all on board who will not have learned the true secret of happiness. <laughs> what do you say to that? Well, dear, a filter is a very useful thing in a house, but I don't quite see that it is the sort of thing that places its possessor on the very pinnacle of earthly joy. But <laughs> you understand me. I did not say a filter. I said a filter. <laughs> you do me a love potion. For the contrary, I do mean a love potion. Oh, Alexis, I don't think he would be right. I don't indeed. And the real magician. Oh, it would be downright wicked. Aline, is it or is it not a lawful object to steep the entire ship over its lips in love and to couple them in matrimony without distinction of rank? Unquestionably. Then unpleasant as it must be to have to record the supernatural late, I must nevertheless pocket my aggression in deference of the great and good end I have in view. <laughs> Hercules! Oh, Hercules! <laughs> yes, sir. And Mr. Welfare, it's in the cabin, sir. Refreshing. Ask him to be so good as to step this way. Yes, sir.
you to consult on a very important matter. I believe you advertise a patent uh, oxy hydrogen to all the personalized filter. Yes, sir, it's a leading article. I want to know if you can confidently guarantee it as possessing all the qualities you think we are referring to. Sir, we are not in the habit of puffing our goods. Ours is an old established house with a large family connection, and every insurance held out in the advertisement is fully realized. This don't affect him, you'll turn us into something dreadful. I know you will. I am curious from purely philanthropical motives to distribute this filter secretly among the inhabitants of the ship. I shall, of course, require a quantity. Tell me, how do you sell it? In buying a quantity, sir, we should strongly advise you taking it in the wood and drawing it off as you should have it to want it. We have it in four and a half and nine gallon casks, also in hogshead and pipes for laying down, and we do have 10% pump cash. I should mention that I am a member of the Army of Navy Stores. <laughs> in that case, we do have 25%. <laughs> Aline, our guests will assemble to around in a few minutes. Go and fetch the people. Wait, um, Aline, you must obey me. <laughs> if, if you please. Thank <laughs> you. 